so lakshya i have started the recording so i'll tell you the pattern and then we will start mm. our interview session so the pattern is uh, very simple so it's kind of a first round of any company whichever you company will give it's uh, mostly the pattern will be very similar to a product based company right so in this pattern mm. i like uh, since you are a fresher also so no le- uh, leadership principle question for you also so there will uh, okay. i will ask some 5 10 minutes uh, some basic questions and after that we will jump it to the uh, problem solving right and based upon how fast you do the first question you might get some other question and for if based on the time of the second question we will just discuss the approach and uh, or if we have the time sufficient we can also go for the coding but for now i am looking for one question and for, for around 40 minutes right okay but just in the case if you solve it very early so we will have uh, another question just in the case okay. okay so this is generally my pattern and after that uh, we will save 5 minutes for the feedback and uh, yeah let's what can be improved and where we are lagging so that's what we will discuss in the last 5 minutes okay sir okay so with that said let's start our mock interview good luck okay thank you so So Lakshya, tell me something uh, like uh, in one line, can you give me what is deadlock, right? And one uh, real time use case where deadlock can be happened. Like what is the use case? Give me an example that if this, uh, if if I do this, then deadlock will occur. Uh, deadlock occurs when some when two things simultaneously asking for data and all both are dependent on each other. Hmm. Like if I am asking you for data. but you are asking me for data before giving that so this is kind of a deadlock hmm. uh, we can use it like uh, if uh, if some app is asking for otp hmm. uh, so before but the b- before sending otp i need that that app's confirmation hmm. so this is kind of a deadlock okay okay yeah yeah so it's correct deadlock is the okay okay so uh, goes to the next question like uh, can you tell me the advantage of linked list over an array uh link uh, both are linear data structure but the problem with array is it will allocate a, a chunk of memory a full chunk of memory if i we take a size of array 10 then if we take integer array which is 4 bit so it was it will give directly 40 bit at one place whereas linked list use pointer so it can allocate different memories at different different places Uh, it doesn't have to be at one place, so mm-hmm. this gives us advantage over array. What are what are the other advantages? This is one advantage. Uh, this uh, another we can use heap memory for it instead of uh, our, our stack memory, and point uh, it will it is uh, okay. Um, okay, I think this is it. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it's a dynamic memory allocation so that is also yeah. uh, one thing uh, and uh, yeah there could be many uh, okay advantages but it's okay we can go ahead okay so uh, can you tell me the dif- difference between binary tree and the balanced binary tree a binary tree is any tree which has two children which can have two children uh, whereas a balanced binary tree can have only zero or two children so it can either be a full binary tree or uh, a correct. node can either have two children or a, or it can be leaf node correct correct you are right and uh, do you know about what is uh, avl tree no sir i am not aware okay okay no problem so let's say i have a binary tree i have a parent node so how hmm. i can find out its children at which node they will be present at i have a So, so I'm given a root of a binary tree. Yeah. So uh, just consider that uh, my parent. So I have an array representation of a tree. Okay. Right. So my any parent node. Uh, let's say it is at uh, index i. Hmm. So I need to find its childrens, left children hmm. and right children. How can I uh, find those children? That is, uh, we can use the formula two i plus one and two i plus two. Correct, correct, correct. Both so it three. will always be two, and similarly, if you want to find the parent, we can just divide and uh, do that. Yes. Okay. What is the time complexity of BFS and DFS? BFS and DFS, as we ha- uh, have to visit uh, each and every node, then it will be O of n. Mm. I where n being the number of nodes. Uh, no. 
that is not uh, o of n is not uh, so in tree in a graph there are two things uh, what uh, what is this and edges right so yeah. what wh what do you mean by n so what is n here number of nodes okay 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 when to use uh, bfs and when to use dfs uh dfs we generally use when we have to go deep inside a tree or a graph like uh, if i am searching for if generally if i am searching for if we are going in a ancestral way mm -hmm. hierarchy mm -hmm. so we will use dfs but if we want to search on a, a single level then we will use bfs correct 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 yeah that's right okay so that's pretty much your uh, basics of dsa right so now let's come to the question uh, laksha so uh, you can uh, share your uh, screen also so i'll tell you the question you can write it over here so uh, have you opened the collab edit uh, yes okay so let me uh, write a question into the collab edit and uh, let me know if you are able to see what i am typing okay okay so here the question is you are given an array right and um, mm. so inside this array so you are given some integers like 2 comma 0 comma uh, let's say 3 these what are these these are the ratings for a children's okay okay so the first children has rating 2 second children has rating 0 third children has rating 3 right so we okay. the question is we have to give the lollipops to the children or you can say that we have to give the candy to the children right okay. so at least one candy so at least one candy we have to give to all children okay okay and if any children has higher rating than its neighbor it has to be uh, it ha it should have more candy than its neighbor so what i mean is let's say in this case for example in this case uh, let's say 2 comma uh, 0 comma 2 comma 1 so in this case all three should have at least one candy right so if you see that okay, okay all three at least should have one candy but now another okay. condition is if the children has higher rating than its neighbor then it, the number of candy it has should be higher than them also so now Both it, the neighbors yeah then right. its neighbor so in this case the two the uh, the children uh, two has the rating two right and it is greater mm. than its neighbor not both the neighbor at least one of the neighbor yeah right whichever the neighbor uh, it is higher than it should be uh, it should have more uh, candy than its neighbor whichever it is lesser than that so let's say uh, to avoid the confusion here let's say i make it a three so here in this case let's say two so two is greater than zero right yeah so here it should have more candy than the children one so children one has mm. uh, candy one so it will have candy more than this than it's two right so mm. now comes to three so three has uh, greater than its neighbor right so th mm. three should have uh, more candy than the lesser neighbor so its lesser neighbor is two and two has two candies so it should have more uh, candy than this so it should have three right so this satisfies now the condition so every children should have at least one candy and the children who has the higher rating right uh, from its neighbor should have the more candy than him hmm. right so uh, and uh, for this case let's say two comma two in this case uh, every children should have one candy so this one 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 so now two is greater than zero so it should have greater more candy than this so it would be two now another two is it greater than its uh, neighbor no it's equals so it's yeah. okay one to one is the correct answer now okay so you got the question yes okay so okay. you can uh, yeah take your time think through it let's discuss the approach and then we can start for the coding so one thing is very clear that we will uh, the answer array will be initialized with one at every index correct because we at least we have to give one candy mm -hmm. then uh, sorry it's uh, disconnected collab yeah, yeah it's an issue at uh, collab edit let's ignore it okay. 
yeah so we can do that and the ratings are not sorted so we have to look both at left and right mm -hmm. okay so mm -hmm. so what we can do is ah sorry i'm not able to learn. so if we initialize uh, an array with one can you see my screen yeah i can see your screen I, I, like if you want to change some other uh, editor like you have any editor you can use that uh, sh shall we use dfg editor yeah yeah sure i think collab edit uh, i will not use it can you see yeah i can see so we have initialized our array with one uh, array size will be equal to the array given to us and then for every index we need uh, what is on the left of it and right of it mm -hmm. if it's greater then we will add plus one to the we will which, whichever one is maximum in both of them let's say ki, uh, we are given an array zero two and one so as we can see the two is greater than both of them then we'll see if zero has more candy or one has more candy then we'll add one to it okay okay there will be there will be our answer now we have to uh, find a way to store the uh, candies of an of, of a particular element mm -hmm. so i think Can you try to but find some appro uh, some other use case, uh, like which are uh, like uh, uh, more use cases, which you think uh, is missing? Okay. So first one is uh, if it's if the f if we are talking about the first uh, first in first index, then if it we will we will only have to see left of it, mm -hmm. right of it. Sorry. And for the last index, we will only have to see the left of it. Okay. So we will see if it's lesser, then we will keep it as it is. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's less and if it's greater, then we will have to add one to what whichever amount of candies second index is, first mm -hmm. index is having. And similarly for the last case, we will have to do this. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think we will have to uh, somehow we will have to use a data structure to keep the track of the previous previous index. And the uh, next index can next index is can be. Okay. So. So what we can do is, if I go to two, then I will see if it's greater than zero. Mm -hmm. If it's if it's greater than either either one of them, mm -hmm. then we'll we will take the maximum of mm -hmm. uh, any of them and mm -hmm. add one to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. But if I go like this, if its first index is zero right now, so we'll only have to check right. If it's it's greater, no, it's not greater. So it will stay one. Mm -hmm. Then we go to two. Mm -hmm. uh, is this greater? We'll say yes. This is greater. Mm -hmm. So the maximum of zero and one candies is one only. Mm -hmm. So we will add one plus one, which is two. Mm -hmm. Then we will go to one. As is it last index, we will check to the left of it. Mm -hmm. And the left is left is greater. So we don't have to change it. Okay. Okay, uh, we'll have to take some other test case into consideration also. So let me think about that. Yeah. Okay. What if we add three, one, two, something like this? So zero. This case this will stay same. This is greater, so it will be greater than both of them. Then three is greater than two. So, uh, so we will add 
and uh, we will give three three candies and now one will stay one mm-hmm. two is greater than one so it is it will take two and this will again take one so i think this is correct answer one yeah, is having this is two. correct but so yeah so you think that this approach will work uh, i think so i'm uh, currently uh, trying to imagine more scenarios mm-hmm. okay okay so but if but if you put the greater element here so it will have to be two uh, it it will fail in such cases if let's say one and one is even if even if one is having one candy the five ha- we will at the first iteration we will take five and see it is greater than and we will increase it by one only so it will become two but two has to be increases by one only again so it will uh, it become equal so this approach will fail here so it has to be three correct or what we can do is every time we increase we go back and increase uh, check for everything which is greater than it, it has greater element of it uh, so what we can do if uh, if we increase an element we can we can check if its na- previous neighbor has to be greater than it or not uh, if it is greater than it so we will increase it again and then the f- same process for that uh, index also we can do this or we can save Simply, I'm trying to. I'm thinking of one approach is that we can store uh, two. We can take two arrays and store uh, every index's left element and right element to it. Uh, somehow, uh, if that could work. one thing is there that one iteration alone mm-hmm. uh, won't be able to do it i i think so okay so what you're saying uh, what you said uh, you will be keeping one left array and one right array yeah okay okay so like uh, like if i take this as right array mm-hmm. so if uh, uh, it f- five the left element is 2 two's left element is 1 and this one's left element is again 1 and 2 2 and then 1 again so we will keep n minus 1 the size of right array will be n minus 1 because first index doesn't have uh, first in, uh, first in, for first index is not a right of any element similarly we can keep a left array and like 5 doesn't have any left but to it will start from we will keep minus 1 to it but uh, what, what are the what uh, what are the constraints is it all positive number yeah all positive numbers. okay so we can give five, minus 1 to 5 and two's uh, left will be 5 one's left will be 2 and then i can just copy it i didn't get this right array is 2 1 1 2 1 So you remove five and you keep everything as ah. same as it is. No, and no, no. Uh, five's right is two. Two's right is one. One's right is again one. This one's right is two, and this two's right is one. Okay, okay, so, okay. So you keep the right value. Five right is two. Two right is one. Okay, likewise. Yeah. And left is like one left from uh, five left mm-hmm. is no one. And for the last element, five, okay. we can give minus one to it. Okay. So now we will traverse. Uh, if we'll see if 
5 5 is greater than similar index of right or one yes it is uh, we will take the positive one and as we have only initialized with it one only we we'll take the pos uh, positive one and we'll increase it by one then it will become two then we will check for uh, right again for the next index two's right is one which is not greater so it will remain the same and one's right is one which is not greater remain the same one's right is two uh, no need uh, two's right is one again no need and one's right is minus one so this minus one will harm us so we can ma put maximum amount here sorry no i didn't get it like when when you said two two right is one two's right is one yes yeah so then what we did in that case uh two's right is one so uh we we will uh, sorry we will add uh, add one to our answer because it is greater then one's right is one again so it is same we don't have to add anything mm. then here one's right is two Hmm. So it it is greater. So what we can do is increase two's amount. So which is second last array, hmm. or we can do it in the left left iterations. I think we must should keep it for the left iteration. So I uh, I'll keep it as it is. Just check for right. Then two's two's right is one. It okay. is greater. So we will increase it by one. And one's right is maximum. It is not greater. It will remain the same. Hmm. Then I think we should keep run a loop again for left array. Hmm. So uh, five's right is minus one. It is greater. It doesn't have to change anything. Then uh, two's right is five. Right, right is, is already five. done, right? So now we are running for sorry, left. Sorry, left, right? left. Sorry, five. Uh, two's left is five. Mm -hmm. uh, it is smaller. It is smaller than it, so it doesn't have to change. But we will change this as it is previous index. We will change as as this index is smaller. Now we will go to. the we will go to 1 we'll check one's left which is 2 then we will again increase uh 2 by uh, but then the error will again occur yeah so again cascading issue will occur hmm. Can I can I get a hint? Yeah. So you are actually you are doing right. The when you have taken a left and right array, right. So that mm. is actually a correct approach, I would say. But instead of keeping the five right is two, two right is one. So just think from that perspective that uh, let's not do that, right? Be uh, because ultimately uh, what we have done is. Uh, kind of storing the same data right we even i can iterate on the same thing left and right whichever you are doing keeping the mm. five right is two and then i can also do that in the same array itself right mm. so the real mm. value comes of right and left is like if you store the candy in that just think yes. from that perspective not the values currently you are okay. storing the ratings so okay. ratings i why i need to store the ratings in the left and right which i can uh, itself get an iteration from the main array i can run from right to left i can get a right values i can get from left to right i can get the left ratings yes so you are doing right but uh, just uh, change the approach from rating to candy that's one hint just okay. so if we have change the approach to candies then it will have to be initialized by one again uh, it is six in numbers the same array will come here so uh, let's check for okay okay we will uh, i think uh, i am if i am i think i am at the right approach we will iterate for right right then we will iterate for left and then in our answer array we will see whichever one is maximum mm -hmm. i think this should work uh, let's uh, try run it once uh, five's uh, five's right is two five doesn't have to change two's right is one two is greater then we will increase it by maximum of Left and right, both are one. No, right. You are iterating it. from uh, how you are going in the array. Left to right or right to left? Um, for right, I am going left to right. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, so if I am going moving five, five doesn't have to change. 
two two is greater than its right, so it will change. We will yeah, make it two. One is similar. This one is smaller. This one is again greater than its. So we will change it here also. Then we will. I think we should go uh, from last to uh, from right to left or left direction. If one is smaller, so uh, one is smaller, so it doesn't have to. So we will change this index two. If and now two is greater, so we doesn't have to change. Uh, one is similar, doesn't have to change. Here again, one is smaller, so we will change the greater element, this two. And now uh, two is smaller, so we will change two plus one, which is three. So our final array will be three. Maximum of two one two is two. One and one is one. One and one one. Uh, I think this should be. Let's check. Two one one. I think no. yes. I think this should work. No, does right array is correct? Right. Uh, okay. Five. Sorry, sorry. I made a mistake. Five is greater than so five should be increased. Two is uh, greater than one. Two should also be increased uh, by one. Uh, this error will again occur, I think. Then one is greater, one is similar, one this is smaller, this is greater. We will increase. We will go for left array. One, you check it if it's smaller. If yes, then we'll increase this part. Add one to this. We'll check if it's left. If it's smaller, no, it's not. We'll move. If if this thing is smaller, no, it's not. If this yes, this is smaller, so we will increase this index by maximum of its, which was at initially it was one only, so it will be two. We will check for two. If it's uh, smaller, yes, it's smaller. Then add one to it. No, but right right arrow is not correct, right? Yeah, uh, I'm thinking about in that direction only. I think we should traverse. If we traverse right from the right to left, yeah. So okay. So if uh, if one is uh, one is smaller than it, we don't change anything. Two two is greater than one, so let's just initialize this to one again. One is smaller, we don't change anything. Two is greater, we will. Take maximum of left and right. Add one to it, which will be no. two. Why left and right? Why left? Why left? I'm just uh, making. Okay, okay. We have left array for that. I don't have to do that. So that was my initial approach. Okay, so two we will add one to it. It's greater. Then we are at one. One is uh, same. We don't do anything. Then we are at this index. It is smaller, so we do. Uh, it is smaller, so we can. If it's smaller, we can add one to this also. Base, and if now two is smaller, so we will add two plus one to this hmm. three. Yeah. And if I am traversing this from last, so I think I should traverse left from uh, uh, left to right. If five is, if uh, we will initialize it one again. Five is greater than two. We will increase it. Two is greater than one. Uh, so no, no. Left, uh, Why you have increased it to two? Uh, five is greater, no? So we are building a left array or right array? Okay, okay. We have to take consideration only left elements. Okay. Five has no left element, so it will remain as it is. Two has a left element. Uh, is two smaller? Yes, two is smaller. So the uh, previous index we will increase by one. Okay. Now, now, now we are at one. Is one smaller than two? Yeah. Yes, it is. Previous index. Then we will increase by one. Okay, this this might be a problem. Uh, let let me rethink about it. Five 
sounds good. Then we will increase it by one. Then two is good. Okay, uh, let's try five's left is nothing, so it will remain one. Two's left is five, so five should be increased by one. Uh, one's left is, uh, this one's left is greater than it, so it should also be increased by one. Who it is? Now we are at this one. It's left. Sorry, we are at this one. So five left is two, two's left. 2's left was greater, so we increase this. Then 1's left was greater, so we increase previous index. Then this 1's left is not greater than it. It will remain the same. And then this 2's uh, left is not greater than it. It will remain the same. And this 1's is greater. Just so, a quick time check. We are past 20 minutes. So we have around 15 20 minutes more. Okay. So you are doing right. Uh, so Lakshya, you are correctly doing, but I am just concerned like when you are creating a left array, why you are hmm. increasing the previous value? That's why you are facing an issue. Right? In the right one, you didn't like this, right? When you in the right uh, on whichever index you are comparing, you are incrementing that value, right? So why in left you are incrementing the previous one? Right, so you are creating a left array. Just think from that perceptor. So you are totally doing right. Very minor gap. Try to look that. Okay, we will see if. Um, what if we uh, no? Scatter we increase it. So what is uh, five left? Nothing, right? Five, nothing. So one. What is two's left? Two's left is five. It two is, left is, two's five. is smaller. Yeah, so two is smaller. Uh, so it has to be increased. No, right? No. Yeah, so let's move One's, forward. One, one is again smaller. Hmm. No change. One is same. No change. Two, it is greater. Then we'll increase it by one. Yeah. And this one again, no change. Yeah. Okay. So I think this should this is right let's check for left array uh, now what we have to do after this once the right will, and left array work. now we will make an answer array and the maximum of right and left will be our answer because as i said in the initial part we will look for left array left part hmm. and right part hmm. and then we'll take whichever one has maximum candy and add one to it correct so it that's why we have added one or the one candies plus one to for for right and left array now we will have to take maximum of it so i think for every index we will take maximum array like in this example three two one one two one uh, as i've written this this should be the answer uh, let me check uh, five is greater two should be two uh, five should be there uh, it will remain the same yeah, I think the, this this approach is correct. What is the time and space complexity in this? Uh, space, uh, as we are using, uh, we, we don't count answer array. As we are using this two array, so it will be O of two of uh, O of two n, which will again be O of n. And for time complexity, we are uh, traversing it uh, two times. So again, so that will also come out to be O of n in the end. Can you uh, write the code for this one? Okay. Uh, I just comment it out. So. Taping uh, only function for it. 
uh, vector of integral pass and we will be given a, a vector only. Let's name it nums. Now first we have to do, uh, first we will create a right or left vector. First we take the size of it and n is equals to nums dot size and we will create three vectors of the same. So this is left, uh, which has size of n and will be initialized by one only. Similarly for right, we'll do this. And our vector answer it doesn't have to take anything. This now for the right array for i equals zero, i less than n, i plus plus. Uh, sorry, for right part we were traversing from right only, so we will give this n minus one. Now it will if it's greater than or equal to zero, I should be I minus minus. Yes. Now we were checking if it's greater than its previous counterpart or not. If it was, we were increasing it by one. Okay. So let's check this. If uh, right of n is greater than right of n minus 1 then we will give right of n right of n minus 1 plus 1 this should work uh, 1 this is 1 it is not greater yes this is greater it will add 1 to it not even this is okay okay no upscreen this is something doing the same one doing the same What did I miss? I copy something. We will we were checking for one. If it's greater, no, it's not. If two was greater, yes, it is. Add one to it. We will change it to two from one. If this one was greater, no, it is not. This one is greater, no, it is not. This two, is it greater than this? No, it's not. How did we change it to two? I sorry, which one? Okay, I'm, I, I forgot the you gave me the hint about the right one. Yeah, uh, for the right one, just traverse from right to left. Yeah, so okay. we were checking for i i position if it's greater or not. So for uh, i position, if it's greater than its uh, one and minus one. No, so, this is the right array, right? So it should be n uh, plus one check. Yeah, yeah. That that was I missed. First of all, this should be i. So this should be n minus two. Should be i i. And this should be i plus one. See? If uh, we'll start from here, if this is greater, yes, it is greater. Increase it by whatever this value is plus one. This is greater, no it is not. This is greater, no it is. Is this greater? Yes, it is. Okay, this should work. So, so right of i will be equal to right of i plus one plus one. Should be this should make a right array. And similarly for our left array. 
we were traversing it from zero only. We will traverse it from one actually. Uh, one, it will be smaller than n i plus plus. If uh, we will check uh, for first index, if it is at a, it has a greater element. No, it is not. If it has, we will increase it by one. So right, uh, this will be left. If left of i is greater than left of i minus one, if it is left of i, should be left of i minus one plus one. I think. Okay. Now we will for our answer array. Why will, it would be left of i greater than right comparison? Oh, sorry. I forgot. left of i minus 1 mm. i think this left we will uh, come from here not greater not greater this is greater increase it by one. yes this should work okay for the maximum part we will have to run our array again i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus then for answer Just we'll take n a equal to maximum of left of i and right of i, and we'll push it in our in our answer, or we can directly do this answer dot i. We have, as we have already given it a size, so answer i, and in the end we can return answer. Okay. Now, uh, can you make this uh, code little bit space efficient? Like currently, we are taking three array: one for right, one for left, and one for answer. Can mm. you uh, make it a little bit more efficient on this? Just see if we can uh, use only one array, something. Uh, use only it. one array instead of three. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but well, I we 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 have, we create a right array, we fill it up, then we create a uh, when while we are creating in t instead of an array, we take an integer, and at each time we check if it's maximum, then right of i is or not, and then we if it is, we will change the value, and that will be our answer. Hmm. I think the, okay. Can you change the words? Okay. Uh, Let's just remove this part. And so, so. just like we have 10 minutes more. OK, so first part was this. And for left part, we will, uh, if left of i is this, uh, then we, instead of this, we will take an integer. of i instead of left of i for i minus one we have to is keep a track uh, first can you okay is this the existing code is correct exist i think yes can you double check once okay. mm -hmm. or all the implementation went to it in n minus two and like this one. For right, we were doing checking from second last. If its right is greater, so if it's greater than i plus one, then we were increasing it by one. For left, we were checking its left from two. If it's greater. And we will increase it. We were increasing it, increasing it by one. Are you able to find the issue in this code? That's, so you are saying the uh, left part has some issue, right? <laughs> this code has some issue. Just say. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Let's see, die again. Like plus one. Sorry, I'm not able to catch okay. it. So, where are we comparing the ratings with the children? So, all I see is right and left. Where is usage of num? Oh, oh yes. That was very stupid of me. Sorry. So this will not be right or left. This will be nums. Yeah. Nums, we will check for nums. Yes, now it will work. Yeah, so now you were doing something like to making uh, three uh, space uh, array to one. Like how you were doing it, let's see. So oh, for the left part, you only need its left part, right? And we are starting from first index. So first uh, for first indexes should all, will always be one. Hmm. Yes. First, so we will take uh, an uh, left value left mm -hmm. is equals to uh, one and we will check nums if it's greater uh, so one moment please okay if if it's greater than one then our left value what you did is left value one okay so no what you did what what, what is your logic uh as i was saying that uh, uh that this for the we will we were traversing from first index right so right so right we are good so and we have gone from right to left we have updated hmm. our right array based on the hmm. right context now what hmm. is the uh, you are trying to do is now in the same array which uh, right has updated with the candy number of candies for the children but that is from the perceptive of right i will yeah. always look my right i will always look my right yeah. now we are running the left like i will always look my left and we are hmm. trying to use the same array which right has built up so hmm. now here uh, can you add what you are did so you added one left value so first for for zeroth index left will uh, the left array zeroth of left index will always be one because for zeroth index doesn't have any left no why why in this case because uh, already right has uh, run right so zeroth index uh, it already has computed some candy for the zeroth index but from the right perceptor yeah so why what if it is two so we we are taking maximum of it of it now i i have not completed the left part of the course okay okay so okay. i was explaining okay. so if it's if it is greater we will add left value plus 1 and then we will compare then right of i minus 1 will be maximum of uh wait a minute it was 3 and of uh, three or one, then one it will remain one i only. Maximum of right of i and left value. If if this value is is not greater, then the left value should switch to one again. Okay, wait a sec. Let me try to try this. So if nums of i is greater than nums of i minus 1, okay, uh, and as you said left value we will increment. So let's say at initial its uh, child rating is 5 and the uh, next one is 2. So 2 is uh, greater than 5? No. It will go to the else part. You make it 1. Why 1? What if it is 2? So uh, can, what, what were you saying? 
so why we are hard coding in left okay so you are making left value equals to one so we haven't uh, didn't change the right value okay okay yeah okay so right value is still the same we now, will only have to change right value if it's great if, because one is the hard one we have to give one candies to each and everyone correct, correct. so if there's one we don't have to compare so if values increases by more than one hmm. then we will have to add one to it so what i was doing for left array as we were traversing for from i uh, i plus i equal to one only for this the value will always stay one uh, let me create another array which is one 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 for the fair, for five it will always stay one for two as it is smaller than five it doesn't change so it is more, so it will uh, again left value will say uh, left uh, let's say left value will stay one again and now the, we are at this index its left value is smaller then this one is greater for this one is greater we will add one left value we will add one to it it will become two then we'll compare it to right array if it's greater then we'll uh, put it in the right array i am taking this approach this i have done because uh, let's say if this this was somehow this was greater so we will add two to it but if in in the next case uh, in the next case if it were not greater the left value will again be reset it to should be reset it to one yes so, so you are carry forwarding this left value to the next uh, also yeah no uh, if 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 it's greater then it should only be carry forwarded if it's not greater or it's equal or less then it should be set to one again no but what is the purpose of uh, taking this variable so uh, so see you already have an array right array right hmm so it uh, so let's say after 5 6 there is a 7 right okay. so in 6 you got something like okay i am my i am greater than my left so i, I sh- might increase I some candy right now it yeah. reaches to the 7 so hmm. why i have to carry forward this left value when i already maintaining one array where i know that for the sixth one i have two candy i can increment so whatever you are doing is right so you are doing left value equals to left value plus 1 so what i'm saying is why can't you use the right array itself and do plus 1 in that okay okay so what uh, what you are saying is if we are at 7 then instead of carry forwarding left we can just take this value and add one to it if it is lesser if it is equals and lesser hmm. because if it is 7 right so 7 is greater than is left so hmm. its its candy should be greater than 6 hmm. right yeah. so we will check here like if nums of i is greater than nums of i minus 1 correct so one more condition we have to put right if the 7 candy whatever the current candy is 1 if it is candy is less than equals to i minus 1 because we are doing the left right then we have to increment okay. so right? we can give that condition here, here only let's yeah so that condition and this left value is very uh, error prone actually so currently we are dealing with very small uh, subset 5 6 7 2 and 4, 5 so just say that let's say if we have uh, 10 to the power 4 array size let's say then it would be very difficult like how it's working actually okay if right of i is less than and equals to right of i minus 1 then yes we have to increment the current uh, value uh, we have to right of i minus 1 plus 1 correct and this else part will go away uh, yeah yeah so the time and space complexity will remain the same but the constant which is present into the space complexity will go yeah away. yes so yeah so, and we are exactly on time so we started on uh, uh, exact 40 minutes we are done for this one okay right so i am pretty much uh, done with it so this is uh, i can move to the next section of the feedback so yeah 
सो लाइक बिफोर गोइंग टू द फीडबैक लक्ष्य इज डू यू हैव एनी फीडबैक फॉर मी लाइक समथिंग नीड टू बी इम्प्रूव इन दिस इंटरव्यू एनी थिंग नो एवरीथिंग वॉज परफेक्ट थैंक्स फॉर थैंक्स वन सेकेंड फॉर गिविंग दिस डज इट फील लाइक रियल इंटरव्यू Actually, I have only given one interview <laughs> till now, as I am a fresher. It was yesterday only, and it was based on uh, de- more based on web dev than DSA. I haven't been asked DSA in any of the interview till now. No, so okay, this okay, was my okay. first experience. Okay, good. Okay, so uh, see now let's uh, jump to the next uh, section feedback. Uh, this one. So, Lakshya, uh, first thing is the biggest uh, which I think is missing is which you have to uh, is. the brute force approach was missing right the one which you have given me is the efficient one right okay. so the one thing which clicks to me like you might have done this question uh, might be one month back or one and a half month back but uh, now you know the efficient approach directly right so this might come to an uh, interviewer like so generally when any question comes in so your approach should be like first discuss the brute force so you don't have to code for brute force actually never code for the brute force right but start from the brute force uh, so uh, consider me as i don't understand anything so you first tell me like this is the brute force approach like i will do like this right and this complexity is big of n square for brute force now i am trying to optimize it then take me from brute force to the uh, efficient approach journey okay then i know that okay akshay has first find out the brute force and then he found the bottleneck and then he think through and found the efficient approach okay. right so one biggest question mark here is you didn't come up with a brute force you directly come up with the efficient approach okay that is one thing so this is uh, sometime uh, interviewer take this as a uh, serious thing like uh, let's say if you see this this is a very good question right mm-hmm. so uh, and if you are new to the question uh, there is very less chance you will come with directly the efficient approach like right? okay. so you were actually going through the brute force as far as i remember when you find the uh, cascading impact right you were think you were thinking like i will uh, run it one more time i will run it one more time you were saying something like this right so that was actually a brute force okay. so, so you were, i had to explain it you, little better yeah so th- that was actually brute force because cascading impact come so it has to keep running till the array doesn't change hmm hmm right So yeah. if it is array is changing, run one more time, complete array. If if uh, again run one more time, T- run till till the array doesn't change. Okay. Okay. So that is brute force. You were going to the brute force, but you didn't discuss. Okay. Right. So from that point, you directly jump to the efficient approach. So that is take as a one a point which you can add up. Certain thing is, uh, your basics are good. but uh, try to grasp the basic uh, trees all trees so avl is uh, avl red and black at least these two trees you should cover right your uh, bfs dfs time complexity was not correct right so uh, the time complexity is not big of n right so uh, somewhere you answer the uh, base dsa correctly but i would say that uh, at least till graph right so it might be dp questions you uh, don't do that but at least till graph bfs dfs basic binary tree balanced binary tree avl red and black right and there is also called entry but that is rarely asked right but a try right so if i ask like uh, how to do a try how you create a try so you you should know at least these basics of the try right so what i would say is the time complexity at least should be on the tips Okay, it's a BFS. Okay, this is the time complexity. If it's a okay, a quick sort, merge sort, this is the time complexity, right? So, you you if, even if you haven't code on the AVL, that's totally okay. At least know the basic. Okay, so it's a self height balancing tree. Its co- time complexity generally lies between here. Let's say, right? So similarly, uh, but whatever the uh, definition you give for DFS BFS, that is correct. So DFS use when we have to go find something which lies very deep. inside the tree so i would say that uh, basics you have uh, like good understanding but somewhere it is lagging right so little bit work on the base also right second thing i already told uh, time complexity has to be practiced because uh, interviews uh, do take time complexity very seriously 
right so the time complexity for the questions which you have done you have given the correct time complexity for that one but the uh, inside the bfs dfs that was wrong so just uh, uh, i have already covered in the previous point uh, something is missing in the base dsa which you need to cover up okay right uh, third thing need to find all the use cases like so uh, let's say uh, you actually you did also in this point so when the question comes in right so you started with the approach uh, like uh, you have taken an example and one good thing which you have done is you have taken an other example and then only you will able to find out the cascading impact right yeah. uh, so one thing here is missing is uh, you didn't take any example of uh, uh, common i think i i'm not sure if uh, please correct me uh, have you taken the example like where we have a common values let's say 2222 2222 what if we have like this all the values common uh, all the values yeah, common no, so didn't. what i'm trying to say is that let's take all different approaches let's say uh, w- let's say all the students have the same rating 2 2 2 2 what will happen let's say all the students have uh, in sequence 1 2 3 4 5 6 ascending order let's and say descending order, order. let's say uh, mix up let's say high low high low high high like you you got it what i'm trying to say so what will happen with this is so let's say i would say that today is your lucky day that you are able to find the cascading impact if you miss this cascading impact you won't be able to solve the question hmm. right so the only best way is like try to find all the possible use case so here if you see i can come up with 6 7 use cases ascending order descending order all possible uh, jumbled then uh, high low high and then low high low hmm. right so 1 2 3 4 like i think 6 7 use cases i come up and then run my uh, whatever the dry run which you are running run on all the six use cases before writing the coding right so there is some missing in this use case also right okay. so little bit more you need to practice on the use cases starting initial one right little bit you a little bit uh, another so these are all the points which i am saying is like where you have to improve so you are doing good in the coding but little bit faster so now if you see that you able to find the approach right to left has to be done right left to right has to be done and we have to find the maximum let's say if you have 5 minutes you should be able to code this simple in 5 minutes but if you see today like uh, this so this is approach building is the only tough, uh, tough part in this but the code is very simple if you have seen right to left left to right two loops and then have to yeah. find the maximum but we took a lot of time there so yeah. this uh, code uh, jo, uh, the speed of writing code little bit has to be improved okay right? at least simple codes you don't have to uh, make mistakes first of all like uh, the mistakes nums, nums plus uh, there uh, just uh, look for edge cases like okay null pointer exception will come or not index outer bound exception come or not just think through that from that perspective edge cases right but code little bit speed has to be uh, increased increased right so these are all the points where i found that uh, something can be improved okay. right now good part is you did uh, very good in the discussion you keep you kept me engaged actually so even though you are uh, doing the coding the whole time i was totally aware what you are doing so you are you are talking with me right that is one thing second thing is you ask for the trick like uh, sometime what happen is interviewer int- has the intention to help right but sometimes uh, it's just like waiting like uh, le- okay let him ask then i will tell so it's good thing like if you stuck you didn't waste the time you ask the interviewer itself that uh, can you uh, provide me some hint so that is not actually a bad thing so if he has the intention he will give if he doesn't have the intention he will he will not give so it should be okay right but instead of wasting more time it's good to ask in the front itself like to save the time right <laughs> so that is one thing like uh, so you were not uh, wasted the time you go ahead and ask for the hand you kept the interviewer engaged right so that's all are in your uh, and one more thing is you actually able to find the approach so you were going through the approach but you uh, needed some help some hint right but you come up with the left and right approach right 
so initially you were doing wrong but yeah you did come to that approach so you were going into that direction only just need little bit push that's all so that is also good thing that you were able to think through that okay this is the question this could be the pattern i can take two arrays right so that is also a good thing that you are able to identify the patterns based upon the question right so that is another a uh, uh, good thing so now as a overall combining the good and the bad you see right so currently i would say that there is little bit more area of improvement right and you know like what are all the areas of improvement first the biggest thing is like brute force and the second is use case okay. so right if anything goes wrong in this one right so use case anything goes wrong you are not able to identify one use case your code will break right might be some use case will give you help with the edge cases also writing the edge cases right so if you don't able to identify that edge cases you won't be writing in your code and uh, interviewer will be able to quickly identify uh, will this work will this your code work and then you will kept thinking what i miss then again you go to the use case okay what about this use case right so that should be done before itself okay so take this as a uh, like positive feedback like uh, these things has to be improved right and uh, speed little bit increase more right okay. overall it's good like you are able to find the approach you were discussing keep the communication right whatever how you are doing it today right keep it like this uh, the interview will like it right okay. so all we need is like those who uh, keep uh, communication skills these are all communication skills whatever you are thinking are you able to express to the uh, the other people right okay. so that was very good part so oh. yeah that's all the feedback which i can give right oh. so yeah that's uh, pretty much from my side thank you thank you so much this was very re really helpful as i said this this was my first time giving interviews i only read about the part i i knew that we have to give brute force approaches and use cases i still forgot about it yeah so yeah. The, now i will not forget surely Sure, after sure. this experience yeah so these are actually the major so if it was a real interview right mm -hmm. uh, so there might be like uh, brute force i would i might ask for the brute force like what is the brute force time complexity how would do that right mm -hmm. because sometimes brute force complexity is 2 raised to the power n sometimes o, o of n square but we need to come from brute force to efficient like let's take the interviewer from that journey that okay this is the brute force and this is this if you directly give the efficient approach right and if you solve this uh, so th the code was very simple for this efficient approach let's say you solve it quickly you mm -hmm. give the time for me to ask the another question actually right okay. i have already prepared the second question i might uh, put if you done it in the another 10 minutes before right okay. but if you take me from brute force to this one right i will forget about this i will say that yeah this is a very big question he needs time to think so he is taking his time like brute force and this one So sometimes what happen is when you go directly efficient, right? So I'd say he already knows it. Let's ask another question, right? So that is just one hint. Uh, rest all good. Like just take those feedback and see if you can work on. It. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, man. Thank it's already so late. It's twelve or ten. Sorry for keeping you so. Late. No, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. And good, good night. night. Bye.